Okay, welcome back. This is the second video in a series on how to do the Excel analyses of the lab of uh, January 25th through 27th for General Business 304. In the second video, we'll be making a, a table of the home prices broken out by home style. So I'm going to use a pivot table again to do this. So I go insert pivot table pivot table uh, select the entire set of data new worksheet will be the output and there we go and now I want to take style again drag it over to the row field and this time I'm going to use price that's my numeric uh, response data and I'm going to drag it to the data area and this is what I have okay now again uh, by default Excel has given me the sum of the home prices for each uh, style. Um, a more valid comparison would be the average. So let's double click sum of price and change that to average. And that gives me the arithmetic mean. I'll format this to uh, one decimal place. So under the home tab, quick format. I'm changing, decreasing number of decimal places. There we go. Now this is in thousands of dollars, and I can see that the ranch, coded 2, ranch style homes are the most expensive on average. And tri-levels are the least expensive, but not much less than two stories. Okay, so this is the average. I would also like to know something about the spread, so I can do that. Now before I do that, though, I want to make a nice uh, presentation quality table. So from your earlier chart, where you made a breakdown of style you made a percent uh, table let's copy that so we don't have to retype our labels go back to our new sheet and let's paste that and now we don't want this percent column anymore um, this will be the mean or the arithmetic average and I'll copy these numbers right there and paste them right there over overwriting those percent values now I also want to uh, make a column for standard deviation and to get these quickly we can change average of price to standard deviation double click it and scroll down until you get to standard deviation we don't want the one right below it because that's a standard deviation assuming this is a population but we'll assume this is a sample so we want this one press OK and here's our standard deviations let's copy that and I'll paste it right here Okay, now my formatting's a little bit awkward here with these boxes. I'm going to highlight the entire table and go to this uh, icon, a border icon, and say no border. All the borders are gone. Let's add a bottom border to these labels here. And let's add another bottom border to these uh, below, above the total. Uh, okay, so it's looking better. Let's give this table a title. Let's say these are house prices and these are in thousands of dollars by house style. And uh, a little bit better we could highlight these columns here, double click the lines in between them and it shrinks the width of the columns. I'll stretch it out just a little bit to give a little bit more space. Okay, but this is a pretty nice uh, table and we see again ranches ranch homes are the most uh, pricey on average uh, however two stories are the most variable in their prices not much higher than ranch style okay and that's it for this video and uh, in the next video we'll be making a pie chart out of the style variable